Tuesday the 8th of July I think can't remember but we're on a Seven. 7th of July we've worked it out between <laughs> us so today's walk we are heading to Scarborough and uh, we're taking the Cleveland way again so just making his way down this National Trust footpath down to the beach and hopefully we're down there we can pick up the uh, Cleveland way footpath it needs to be up so because it's a long way down this path. to come back up <laughs> for nothing yeah Right, so we've been down to the beach and now we're, we're attempting to walk up this this path to get back on track. I was kind of hoping that we could pick up the Cleveland Way, which is that direction, but not round here we can't. So this is... Uh, all a little bit precarious. Go on, Mel. So hopefully we'll see you when we get to the top. <laughs> oh, this is now. It's alright for Millie. She's got four wheel drive. I bet this comes out where we saw up on the path and we said, oh, it ain't a proper path. Could be. Yesterday. <laughs> My words. <laughs> well, it is an adventure. I'm beginning to think we've got dementia, the fact that we're walking a beat. I know. You know what? I can feel it. Hey. My heart rate must be about 150 beats a minute. Goodness me. We do pick some ways. Well, what's life without a bit of adventure? Yeah. Hey. 
It is a footpath of sorts. It is, but... But it's not an official one. It's not an official one, no. But, I mean, it, it looks like it's been well... It's been well trodden. used. You should put Melly's lead on and she can pull you up. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably sure. <sighs> We're at the wrong age to be doing this. <laughs> oh yeah, looking at these trees, these creepers that are going up and they look like tar. They're going to come swinging through the trees any yeah. minute. I'll tell you what, if we both collapse down here, nobody will find us for a long time. Yeah, what? Well, I think we're about two thirds of the way up. We'll crack on. Well, I seem to have found a a more level kind of footpath. I think hopefully we've done most of the climbing. Dinosaur to come walloping out the trees here, don't you? <laughs> yeah, or a monkey. There's a few. Um... There's a, a pond there with a duck in it. No, I didn't see that one. Let's try to work out how this tree has fallen. Probably rot. I mean, it can't get much wind in here, can it? That's what I was going to say. I know that we've had. And some it certainly hasn't been chopped. But, um, I know we've had high winds, but you would have thought it would have been protected. Yeah. It does look a little bit, a bit rotten, mm. to be fair. Hey, and somebody, somebody's trying to set fire to it. Yeah, there must have been a bunker here. There are a couple of bunkers down on the beach. Yeah. And of course, a lot of these trees might not have been here. I, I guessed it were. It'd be a bit of a pointless bunker. If you know, it were. 70, 80 years ago, yeah. the old scene might have been a little bit different. There's a footpath there, you see. But that's going back down. I know it's going down. <laughs> But I just wonder if it's a little bit less precarious than that one we've just come up. I'm not going to go down and find out, that's for sure. Well, we've come across some steps. Like an old footpath was here at one time. I wonder if these were put here for a bunker where we've seen the concrete yeah. and things. You Access know. to the bunkers, yeah. Because. Uh, Bunkers are just there, in and amongst them trees. It's not really going anywhere else, is it? Yeah. And there's like bits of concrete here, which was probably laid as a footpath at some point in between these wooden steps. So I guess it was access down to the bunkers. Yep, so another hill and we found, we've come across this fallen uh, footpath post and you can see it's left and right so if that were upright it would be probably facing either up and down that way which I think is the correct but there is a footpath there we don't know where that goes, so we're taking, we're taking the high road. All right, so we've, we've scrambled 
up that footpath from them fallen post and uh, it's brought us out. Melly, come round here. The top of the cliff. Now there is some sort of walkway, you can hardly see it. So we've two choices, we either go back, sliding down what we've climbed up, or we head through that footpath there. And I'm gonna see if we can get through there. Right, we've come to a dead end, I think. Are you sure? Melly, come here. It don't go around the corner. It looks, uh, Melly, come here. No, she's she's had a look, thinking, no. Uh, yeah, so we're going back. So we're going to have to go back. It's a dead end. It looks like where the, uh, just there, it looks like where some of the cliff has fallen away and the footpath has gone with it. Right, so we'll have to turn back, Trace. Oh, well, she's already set off. So, just for your info, if you do come down the footpath, the official National Trust footpath down to Caton Bay Beach, the one at the north, it's a northern one footpath off the old road um, stick with it don't try and walk up the footpath we've come up because it's a footpath to nowhere right see you when we get down here Right, we've got to admit it, we're complete and utterly lost. Um, what we've, we've had to come back from that cliff top um, and we're trying not to go back down. And we keep coming across these different footpaths. What about this Trace, is this a footpath here? So, there's lots of little pathways. I say they're not official pathways, but I'll show you down there. They're being walked on, but we just don't want to end up back at the beach. I have a feeling we might do. Oh, we're still in the woods. <laughs> Uh, we've just come from that path there so the sea is if you're looking in that direction the sea is that way um, and we found the path where we came down originally so looking down this way is down towards the beach um, so obviously we're going to turn this way and go up these steps and this will take us back up to the road and then hopefully on to Scarborough. So it's been a bit of an adventure. Um, probably the daftest one we've ever done. Getting lost in the woods. And to be honest it was all so we didn't have to climb back up these steps. And about an hour later, here we are, climbing up the steps. That don't look right inviting, does that? That's not Tracy's back. That's the steps. Oh, we finally got to the top. Yeah. And we're we're not even a mile away from the campsite. <laughs> yeah, we've been walking for about two hours. Yeah. Or it feels like we've that, been walking for two hours. That wood down there. Ignore that woodland trust unless you just want to go down to the beach only. And it's very steep coming back up. Yeah. The steps have worn away. Yeah, they have. And uh 
they're uh, when you step up it's all right if you're six foot but with our you've got legs. long legs <laughs> our little legs weren't bearing legs. right well were they? it was like the step was up to just below my knee and having to eave yourself up pretty hard work i could hear the blood pumping round in my head could you yeah coming up those last few yeah so we're up uh we decided we're gonna carry on and go to scarborough probably get the bus back though yeah we've got our masks in the bag so yep. at least we can get the bus back if we want to but uh, yeah so we'll head up on here that's where we came from yesterday yeah Os Osgodby. Osgodby where there was the from nice Caton, little memorial garden from Caton village so we're going to go straight up this road here and then there is the official footpath further on which I wish we'd now stuck to the one yeah. we've done before <laughs> don't you? yep but it's an adventure All right, so we're on the uh, found the uh, Cleveland Way footpath. This is the old road, Filey Road. We've just come from up there. Morning. Morning. Hi. Finally got here to Scarborough. It's uh, a bit grey, isn't it? it a is. bit rainy, it's but in the yeah. wind. it's quite warm. Yeah, it's not cold. One of my uh, favourite places, Scarborough. We used to come here when I were uh, a little one. With my parents and my brother. You used to always end up on that beach over there. Because it's got two beaches. This is the South Bay, and across the other side of the, uh, around that peninsula there, we see the North Bay, which is equally as nice. I think I actually like the North Bay better than the South. Yeah. Because this is where all amusement arcades and things are, yeah. isn't it? But more to the centre of town, really. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, we've got just spotted a, a, a funicular railway up there. Didn't, didn't know the wall from there, to be honest, in all the years of being coming to Scarborough. And the spa theatre over there. And then over in the distance there, the uh, Grand Hotel, which is rather a grand, well, faded glory, I'd say. Um, about in the time when it was built, originally built, it was a beautiful hotel, but it's uh, unfortunately a little bit past its best. I stayed there a couple of times. It's it's nice. Get great views of the bay. Last time I stayed, I stayed in one of them uh, towers at the top. There's four towers, and each one's got, I can't remember whether one or two rooms up in them little dome-shaped towers. And uh, there's four which represent the four seasons. There's uh, 12 floors which represent the 12 months of the year. And there's 352 bedrooms. Is that right? 
maybe maybe his elite bedroom. Represents the days. Yeah, 365. Yep. Second tramway up to town. That's the second tramway that goes up to town. I used to spend many an hour in there in my youth. On the slot machine. Yep. Never won much. Indoor fair, yeah, years ago. They had uh, all kinds of outside, you know, like uh, that that wall of death type of thing that spins you around. The big wheel is there, Trace. That's where the uh, that's where the futurist uh, theatre used to be. Yeah. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Have an ice cream from the Arbor Bar. Time for the ice cream. How nice, Trace.
could have been the holiday home. Yeah, so what we were just saying back there jokingly does have some uh, connection to the uh, Brontes. Which I'm sure everybody knows. Which will be up in that, uh, that church. Churchyard. But we did, I didn't know that. No, no, I mean, I, everybody will know that the Brontes are actually from Haworth, which is. Yeah. Yeah, but 